I'm dripping junket. How are you all doing? Ralph here again, Ralph is Reviews, Team Knucklehead, go clone or go home. Um, another review up, we've just had these bad boys in, the V-God, Pro Mod, and Trick Tank, R-D-T-A, R-T-D-A, Rebuildable Tank Dripping Atomizer, R-T-D-A, I'm guessing, could be fucking R2-D2, who gives a shit, yeah, not me. Wow, that's all I'm saying is wow. Now, regular viewers who know that I rate the Limitless uh, RDTA, RTDA, R2 fucking D2, good bits of kit. I'll put off getting these. Now, as you know, I'm a dripping junker, yeah, and I do like a driving solution uh, because dripping and, you know, I drive a fucking fast car. I drive a, a sporty, powerful car, and I'm a fucking granddad, so we, we need as little distraction as possible. I've got the gorgeous Mrs. Boss sat next to me, which is enough to keep your eyes on her and not on the road at the best fucking times. Bless her. Excuse me. So uh, I'm always on the lookout for this sort of thing. Don't like tanks as a rule. Don't do it for me. If they do it for you, fucking wish they did for me. I'm not going to slag any tank wanker off. Um, fair play. I'm a little bit well gel, you know. Tanks don't do it. I started with tanks, moved on to drippers pretty fucking quick, and I've stayed there. I've digressed. This is my favourite to date when it comes to RDTAs, RTDAs. We'll call them R2D2s. When it comes to R2D2s, don't ask me why. I'm a huge fan of Limitless. Um, aesthetically, as far as the looks go, the Limitless Plus, especially with that bandana um, top cover, sits on my bandana sleeve Limitless like it's absolutely beautiful the performance is good yeah i've got no qualms at all this is better don't ask me why i've had a good look you know i know what i'm doing i've seen a few things but performance wise i'm either suffering from shiny itis because uh the the new to the market or they genuinely outperform the limitless i would imagine having said that the truth somewhere in between they're certainly as good, if not slightly better, but that's just my opinion. Somebody else is going to try the Limitless and go, fuck that v God shit, what are you doing, man? Yeah, Limitless is where it's at. Fair play. Again, like a tank thing. For me, it's my favourite. Might change tomorrow. Who knows? Let me have a quick vape. There's no doubt in that the two pair well together, yeah? Absolutely lovely. Um, we've got them coming with a black tank part as well, so they'll look all black. I quite like this with the copper and the gold and the black and, and all that. We've got a carbon fibre button. Uh, mega size on the old chuff dude there. So you can get a real big ear. It's not adjustable airflow, but we can get around that by how we build the coil and how we wick it up. Yeah, I'll show you when we're going to close up. Um, other than that, Stella, I can't fault it. Works well, sits well, looks well, does well, holds plenty. Can't remember how much it holds, six mil or something. Not enough for me. Gets me to the nearest big town and just about back, yeah. And I drip like a fucking twat, so no worries. Oh. I've built it once, wicked it once. No dry hits, no leakage, just just fucking does it. It's good, good. There's a couple of little things, if you like. Um, one's the button, this carbon fiber effect or coated, or I don't know if it's real carbon fiber or not, it probably is, I don't care, it looks all right. I don't know if it helps to keep it cool because it don't suffer from, suffer, don't suffer from hot button anyway, so there's nothing to test. Um, when I first got it, it didn't fire positively. So I just stripped the button out, gave it all a clean, gave it a quick polish, put it back together. It's been fine ever since. Probably got a little bit of manufacturing oil on there or the copper's um, got a little bit of oxidation on it. Don't know, got gold plated spring in there, um, which is 
to my knobby to say. I dare say that it does help conductivity because for a stainless tube, it fucking does it. Again, I'm running my uh, 0 0.07 building. It's absolutely bob on. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, if you've not used this, this sort of device before, back in the day, we had Genesis style that were called. Don't fuck it. Genesis style dripper tanks. And do a bit of shit. They had the same sort of thing, and you, you put wicks down into them, and it drew it up, and you had to fuck about it, and they weren't great. These are absolutely bob on, yeah. Build deck is huge. It's a 24 mil device. We've got those two upright posts that you can't see very well because I've built it and wicked it. Um, basically, the ends of the wick just go down to the top of the juice line. Just go into the tank there. So when you want to drip, you tip it up and it soaks into the cotton. If you want to hit the button as well and have a vape while it's tipped up, the extra heat will thin the fluid and it will draw it in better and then you prime for a few good hits. Yeah, if it starts to drop off or feel a bit warm, tip it up again. Get it going again. Jobs are good. So every three or four, five, six, depending on your building, how you vape, you just got to tip it up and have a vape. Hold it normally, normally, and you're away. Dead simple. And it fucking works. It really does work. There's your fill hole. It's got a little rubber grommet in there so that this cap goes over it and seals it up so it don't leak. And it don't fucking leak, you know. I'll put it in the door well of my car, in the door pocket when I'm driving. Try and prop it up. I've always got a few tissues in there for vaping, yeah. Um, so I make a little pile of tissue and put them in the front and pack them up a bit. And there might be a crisp back in there or something else. But by the time you get there, it's on its arse. And it ain't leaked out. There's no juice in my pocket. Thank you very much. So it seals, it works. Lovely V-Guard emblem there. And it's mirrored in there, look. Yeah. And the Authentics are made in China. These are made in China. Probably made in the same fucking factory. Um, the only difference I've seen is that these tubes are stainless steel. And on the Authentics, I'm sure that the copper. But it fucking performs. Yeah. It's tough as fuck. It's hard. Does the job. It's on point. Let's go in close up. I'll show you how they come. See you in a minute. So here he is. It's a big box, isn't it? Yeah. Vigard Promec RDTA. There you go. R2 fucking D2. What an idiot. Look, he's sat there next to me while I'm doing the intro. And I'm going, is it RT? Is it RD? Do I fucking know? Oh, bollocks. Anyway. It's on the box. Yeah. you got a little bit of bump for each side. A little picture of it. Uh, little thing saying not for wankers. Yeah, read that quick. Not for wankers. And then a bit on the back saying that if something goes wrong, it's not their fucking fault and don't break the law and it's not going to make you superhuman or cure your diseases. If you're having babies or whatever, keep the fuck away from it because the nicotine that you might be putting through it. Bit of common sense. In the box, we get a really... Fuck that off. A really comprehensive little spares package, yeah. So you get some post screws, you get a couple of insulators, and a plethora of O rings and seals. Should keep you going for quite some time, yeah. Good show. You also get spare gold contact spring or switch spring, just in, just in case you fry that one, just in case you lose it, just in case you want to put two in, just in case you want to use that in another mechanical mod. You got one. Then we get the mod itself, which in my book is delightful. Even if you don't like the tank part, they're worth buying just for that fucker. What do we do? I'm thirty nine ninety nine, so forty quid. Yeah, worth a go. You got the uh, bump around the top there. Official V God USO Pro Mac again, they're all made in China, don't be fooling yourself. And then you've got that copper effect cover on the button, on the copper button at the bottom. 
that's it that's all there is to it let's take it apart inside what i really liked was you've got a delrin sleeve if the camera's picking it up these ventiles to help keep it cool and get rid of any gases so you'd be suffering from catastrophic battery failure go all the way through you can see a little bit of light this delrin so it's got an insulated sleeve running all the way down the tube so if your battery rat's not perfect like this one look needs rewrapping you know that you're going to get away with vaping today and changing it when you get home because there's nothing fit to fucking short out on it's plastic don't use these as a rule this one's due for rewrap obviously i bought it in to show you but good as gold can't go wrong yeah then you've got your switch which has got this battery insulator that's sprung so it's on a spring so it's self-adjusting you've got your copper contact that pokes up and that unscrews to reveal the rest of the switch with that gold plated spring excuse me a bit of fluff gold plated spring and the rest of the button uh, like I said in the intro mine didn't fire precisely straight off so I just polish this polish that Polish the top of the screw with my nail buffer. A little bit of WD-40 or contact cleaner on the threads. Put it all back together and it is absolutely bob on. Works a treat, yeah? Lovely, lovely. Bit of kit. It's a winner, winner. Chicken fucking dinner. I don't know if that unscrews. I've not tried to. I would imagine it doesn't because of the spring. You know, I'll do this now. I'll fucking fly off and go bouncing all over the place here and I'll be looking for it after I've gone after you've gone so that's that dead simple now the main event i guess although the mod is delightful on its own is the rdta the rebuildable dripping tank atomizer so like i say these are gold you've got gold and black as an option it's got all the bump on the bottom matches the top of that look super got a really hybrid friendly gold plated 510 screw there that goes through into the deck you got nice post holes proper screws grub screws yeah take a flat screwdriver two o-rings sealing it all up lovely and then that little rubber gasket o-ring on the uh, tank part the tank filler that i showed you earlier on so it all goes together super. This top one screws. So you can really check. Check what's going on. Look, I'll show you mine. It's built up. A few little bits to, to look at. Look. When you've built it, have a poke in there. Have a look. Take that cap off. And check that your coils aren't too close to the sides. And that they're not too close to the top of the unit. Otherwise, you're going to get fucking red art. It's going to be an uncomfortable vape. Mine's good. That's good no worries at all with that yeah find the right one nice some poor bastard over getting my epithelials all over the drip tip so that's all there is to it you know you could strip it all apart and have a look and see but it's just a stem that goes through to the positive that connects with this post you've got your airflow i was there that leads to your bottom airflow and then you've got your fill hole that leads through to your glass tank speaking of which you get a little smoky one so if you prefer the smoky look i would imagine with a black or against the gold there look <whistles> nothing wrong with that what a super well designed well made this is i, I spoke to our manufacturer now they don't let too many secrets out to be fair but I uh, complimented them on the quality, as I always do, because the stuff we buy and get made is absolutely fucking lootly on point. And they said, you know, the, the authentics are made in China. Why wouldn't these be as good? And they, they've got to be. I cannot see how you could improve on the manufacturer. The way it's made, the way it's finished. I built mine, filled it, vaped on it straight out of the box. No machine oil, no bad taste, no fuck all, just on it gone the only thing like i say 
is that button assembly. Just give it a little clean if you find yours ain't great. Although, again, if you look down my feed and look on the... Uh, there's a video for mech mod maintenance, servicing, cleaning and all that. You should be doing that shit anyway. Yeah. Wonderful. And of course, when the two go together, it makes for a really, really nice looking bit of kit in my opinion. That is just bob on. So there you go. Let's go back up top. Have another vape and I'll waffle on a bit more. See you in a minute. Yeah, so the VGOD RDTA and Pro mod. Trick Tank RDTA. Don't know what with the Trick Tank. I think it's for people who like doing tricks. There's a clue in the name, isn't there? Um, and don't want the acid dripping a lot. Don't know. don't know why they called it that. Trick Tank Pro RDTA and Pro mod. It's a winner winner chicken dinner. It definitely, definitely gets my vote for Bedside Companion. Uh, driving solution or just everyday normal use it's not something I would use 24 7 because I like dripping and it's not dripping you know you've got a tank that you fill up and that's your dripping but nothing wrong with that it's fucking... does it perform fuck yeah does it look good doing it well I think so I think they're fucking out, man. They sold out like in two hours or something. So I'm not alone in that. I'm not deluding myself by thinking that I'm the only one who likes the look of them. They're fucking bob on. They definitely, definitely put you on that steam train to Flavor Town. Yeah, lovely bit of kit. I'll put a link in. Check them out. Uh, I'll put a link into our group as well. Go clone or go home. So you can come and join us if you want to. Uh, as long as you're not a wanker. We have a no wanker rule, so. No, no elitist rule either. We've had a few try and try and troll us and join us to troll us and shit. Fucking something wrong with these people. Anyway, it's a good one. Thanks for watching. Yeah, be God, Pro Mod, and Trick Tank RDTA reviewed. Lovely bit of kit. Definitely, definitely, Team Knucklehead approved. Wonderful. I'll see you all again soon. Remember, people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you choose? Yeah, you have a good one. See you soon.